an awesome, awesome day. All right, so um, many of y'all follow us on Instagram, or at least myself. Babs has a new public thing because I don't know why. She just doesn't want to, and that's fine. I told her she should, but, but many of y'all saw my live after that Nashville trip. The next day when we woke up for the wedding, at uh, we were staying at Hampton over there by the Opry, and we had a little bit of a fiasco, and, and I filmed it. So here's that live. I'm going to play it. It's like 20 minutes. So if you want to see what was going on, this is it. All right. Well, this is a good place to start the, the vlog for the day, I guess. Locked out of our room. I think good old technology, right? So, so easy. You can use keyless entry, Bluetooth. No. I've been sitting out here for what, 15 minutes now? Now we have to call maintenance. Down to the lobby. Like, you got a key. I go open it. Come on, Hilton. What's going on here? Fun time last night on Broadway. It's crazy, right? I just want to share that with everybody. Just want to share that with everybody. But today, big day. Big, big day. Shooting a wedding. Mr. Josh Melton is finally getting married to Olivia. We we're going to go uh, shoot their wedding today. A beautiful venue. It's been put off, I don't know, twice, three times because of the situation that's been going on. Excited they're finally getting to say I do. It's really cool. So looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. If we can ever get in our room, get dressed and get out of here. So I guess the GM, she called him? Like, is that the general manager or is it general maintenance? I don't know. GM guy lives like 10 minutes away. And he's got to come. So he must be the only one with the key, I guess. So she's like, oh, just go hang out in this room. Honey, they're going to have to re sanitize everything. It's in the bag. I didn't take it out. Whatever. They let us in the room, so we're going to stay. Okay, so front desk just called us. And now the story has changed to... They have to call a locksmith because they can't get in. So it's going to be another hour. Mind you, it's 10.30. That puts us at 11.30. we got to be at the wedding at 12.30. Mackenzie's got to get to her game. Like, all of our stuff is in that room. We're locked out. And they do not have any other way of opening the door. So this, they can't open this. My guess is that can only open this deadbolt when it's set. But this can't be overhead. That can't be, you can't override this? Like, that seems like a major safety issue when it comes to staying at a hotel. Like, how is that possible that you cannot override this thing, that this thing does not work and you cannot get into a room? Like, I get, like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And we, I try to stay, try to stay only at Hilton's and stuff when we do this kind of travel stuff because Hilton's pretty good, but this is crazy. This, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. We're in a hotel right now. In a hotel, staying, I don't know where, we're over by the Opry somewhere. Had a fantastic night in Nashville last night. Come back to your hotel, you get a good night's sleep, you go out to breakfast in the morning, you come back, you're gonna take showers, you got, you get a huge wedding to film today. A huge wedding, a wedding that's been put off a couple times because of COVID and, you know, it's, it's the biggest day for this couple, right? And you can't get in your room. You can't get in your room where all your camera gear is, all your, your clothes, all that stuff, you know? So you go to the front desk, you ask Hilton. Uh, where are we at, Hampton, I think, or something like Hilt, Hilton, whatever it is, right? You, you tell them that your mobile key isn't working, you can't get in your room. They say, no problem, we'll give you the hard key. They give you the hard key, the hard key doesn't work. Go back down there three times, get new keys, come back up, still doesn't work. Mate or some lady comes up, she tries her key, she can't get in, housekeeping can't get in. They tell you that the general manager's gonna come and they're, they're only 10 minutes away, they're gonna fix it. Then you get a call and they're like, oh, we need a locksmith to come. We need a locksmith to come to the hotel to open your door. Does that blow anybody's mind? that Hilton cannot open this door on their own. Like they can't, like this little lock thing, like the manual one, so we're in this room for right now. This is like a manual one for the deadbolt, for this piece. But this, they have no way to override 
and open this. Like, so our room is this one, 218. And all the camera gear is in here. All the clothing, Mackenzie's like soccer stuff. Mackenzie has a game in two hours. We can't get in. Neither can Hilton. They have to call a locksmith to come open this thing. They have to call a locksmith to come open their own door because they can't get into it. That just seems bonkers to me. Like, does that just seem weird to anybody else that a hotel cannot open their own door? Like, for an emergency or something. It just seems crazy. Like, how can you not open your own hotel room door? Like, that seems like such a safety issue. Yeah, exactly. Some stuff does not need to be digitized. Like, we do not need to be this lazy, and technology does not need to run everything. Baz is sitting here, showered, waiting. She's got her stuff over there. Mackenzie's got her stuff over there. All the camera gear is in the room. Can't do anything. And Hilton's just like, sorry, we'll call locksmith. We'll call locksmith. Like, they're sure worried about you being clean. Clean. But when it comes to getting in your room, you can't get in your room. So, it's cool. I've just been pacing this hallway for the past hour freaking out that's what i'm saying what if there's an emergency like what if what if you're what if you're a parent right and you left your kid in here like you're just running down like you just gotta run down to the front desk right i just gotta run down the front desk grab something my kid's okay he's in here you know and you can't get it what if there was a kid in there like your kid is in there right now and you can't get to it and they gotta call a locksmith granted yes i know you could tell like kid open the door or something but what if just, what if your kid's asleep Right? What if your kids asleep? It's about, again, being a bad person. Right? That's what I'm... What if you had a kid? Like, what if you had Tessa or something? Like, she's in here and she's three. And she's on the bed and she's asleep. Or playing with her iPad or something. And you, went, you ran down to the front desk to grab a towel. Well, she's not going to know how to let you in unless... I mean, you, if your kid's old enough, obviously you can figure out how to open it. But if you have a littler kid or something, or they're asleep, a toddler or a baby, maybe... It was crazy. Like, time started breaking stuff. Yeah, a freaking door was, I was a little bit stronger, maybe. But <laughs> it just blows my mind that they cannot open this and that we've been sitting here for an hour and a half now and can't get in our room. So, oh, this is why I always try. We always watch ridiculousness. Somehow, wherever we go, ridiculousness is the only show that's ever on consistently. And we've probably seen every episode. This is why, though, I always say you got to control the controllable, whatever you can control. So I stayed just down from the wedding venue on purpose, a little out of the way from McKenzie and the soccer game, but I stayed closer to the venue just in case, uh, you know, stuff happens, and that's fine. We're only, like, 10 minutes away. But still, by the time they get the door open, we get all the gear out and stuff, and ugh, just, my gosh, it just blows my mind, though, that they cannot open these doors. Like, how can you not open the door? No, the room's not a, 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 a... I can't even talk right now. It's not adjoining. Can you take the hinges off now? They're inside. Like, it's just crazy to me. Wedding... Wedding's not till 4, but video and stuff. Like, I need to be there at 12.30, start getting landscape shots, all that kind of stuff with no one there. Um, I like to get there a little early just to get it without people and stuff there. So... I mean, we're still good. It's only, it's 1121. We were told 51 minutes ago, locksmith would be here within the hour. Still not here. So room still sits closed. Can't get in. Crazy. Like, how can you not get in your own hotel room? Like, how can a hotel not open a room? Like somebody said, it's like a scam on Logan. Yeah, like I may need... <laughs> You may not see me soon. <laughs> uh, first part, Jen, going back. We're locked out of our hotel room. So, like, we're staying in this room right now because maintenance and the hotel can't figure it out. Our, our key stopped working, and the digital key stopped working, the hard key stopped working, housekeeping's key doesn't work, no one's key works. They can't open the door. They have to call a locksmith company to come open the door. So we've been here an hour and a half outside of our room. We just went to breakfast this morning, came back, and it didn't work. And 
Hilton cannot open the door. All the camera gear is in there, all of our stuff is in there, etc. But it's just blowing my mind right now. Like someone said, what if what if there was like an older person that was in there that needed an ambulance or something, like fell and couldn't get in? Like obviously, I guess, at that point, you just break the door if you're emergency services. But if you got a kid in there, you got like, how can you not open your hotel room door? The cameras and stuff are still in there, I'm sure they. That's a good question though. Like, why does the door not lock not all, like, work? Yeah, I cannot talk. Why does the door lock all of a sudden not work? Like, is there somebody in that room right now? What would that be like? What if we go in there and there's somebody in there? I'm not going to be the first one in there. I'm going to let the, the locksmith go in there first. I've just been walking these halls, though, getting some, getting some miles in. It's a pretty day. Pretty day in Nashville. It's a good day for a wedding. Look at that. It's perfect. Perfect weather. Oh, it would look great if we could just get cameras now. Those doors are heavy, too. What if accidentally closed? That's what I'm saying. Like, if you had a kid in there. Like, if you had a kid in there and your kid's asleep or just, you know, just a younger kid and you can't open the door, like... My, like, I can't believe this. Like, this is a big, this is a big deal, I think. It's a big deal. I'm going to definitely take it up with Hilton and try to get some answers and find out, like, what what's going on. Maybe the machine uprising is starting with Hub's hotel room. <laughs> it might be. Maybe COVID's in there. Maybe COVID's not letting me in because I haven't worn a mask. Maybe I need to put a mask on, then my door will unlock. Oh. This, I swear. Wow. It's crazy. Hopefully you won't have to film the wedding on your phone, but, but that has, I've wanted to do that for the longest time. I gotta find the right couple though, that would be like down for it, I guess. Because I mean, with a phone, like the iPhone, like you shoot 4k, I can shoot slow motion. I can do all that stuff. Um, I don't want to get to that because this is a very big wedding. <laughs> can I get an extension ladder and go in the window? Probably. We definitely have a straight view to the to the uh, outside just by the carport, but I don't know, this is, I wish, too bad we're not like, cause I would totally climb out this window and go across the carport to the other window, but we're, we can't see it ends right there and our room's the next one over. Oh, and there's no windows that even open anyway, so that wouldn't work. Nope, that ain't gonna work. So anyways. This will all be updated, I'm sure, when uh, we figure out what the, what time we at. 11.22, we got eight minutes. Eight minutes till this locksmith is supposed to be here. So, it's a good thing I haven't seen Josh on here. Because I wouldn't want to freak him out on his wedding day. Wondering where his videographer is. But, oh, we'll see. I'll update everybody. Let you know, let y'all know what goes on. Checking everything out. Just bored. So I'm here to hop on here. Hotel windows that don't open and you can't get the door open. That's got to be against code. It's a very good point. Very. It's kind of a couple things. Like, I wonder if they watch their cameras and they're like, dude, this dude's still walking around talking to his phone. Oh, my goodness. What up? What's everybody else doing today? Anybody else doing anything fun? Outside? Exciting? I'm just gonna keep walking hallways. This just drives me nuts because I know they're not gonna be here within and give us a tour of the hotel. I ain't much here. I wish I wish we were at Opry. Oh, if we were at Opryland, staying. Oh, dude, Opryland. If you ever want to come and stay in Middle Tennessee. Um, Opryland is a fantastic place. So that's right. Let me switch. So that's that's Opryland over there. Huge outlet mall. Huge outlet mall. Um, tons of restaurants. Tons of stores. Um, it's a convention center. Just 
thousands of rooms, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. Um, but they have an indoor water park. If you think like Great Wolf, Great Wolf Lodge, um, stuff like that. Indoor water park there. Um, it's like you never have to leave. Coffee shops, like it, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, and it's a fantastic place to stay. Um, but the mall is a little sketchy. Like our friends told us last night, we've been there a few times. This time we did notice quite a big police presence uh, with canine dogs and everything. Um, but uh, it's definitely a cool place to check out uh, if you're in the area. They got a Paul Dean's kitchen over there now. Um, lots of options. Uh, how was the bar last night? It was fun. It was a blast. I was just blown away by how many people were there. It's insane. Like, I don't know if that's the only place in the United States that looks like that. And that's why everyone's here. Um, maybe. Maybe that is. I don't know. Um, love Nashville, the city that made me fall in love with Tennessee. And you get back out there. Yeah, Nashville's cool. Like, it's got its own, like, vibe. Like, it's fun. And um, But I filmed all of last night. I filmed with my phone. So um, we'll put that together in a vlog, just kind of showing everyone Nashville. Um, but that was fun. That was fun. I was just blown away by how many people were out and about last night. Just... I get it that the, I think it's the AMAs are tonight, um, but still there's no public stuff. There's no public concerts. There's none of that's going on. So um, it wouldn't necessarily attract country music fans, I guess, but maybe it would. I don't know. So right, we're going on that. What do you think? I think this is bullcrap. Bullcrap? Gosh, so many. It's just, I don't know. Still need to fix my hair. At least you're dressed for the wedding. Like you can go to the wedding. I can't go like this. Well, I can't go in these shoes. I'm just... Where's your soccer stuff? Is it in the car? No, your uniform. She has soccer around. stuff. All my uniforms now. My cleats stuff. You have cleats but no uniforms? I ain't gonna get you far. This is crazy. It's 11.30. It's been an hour. Should I go downstairs? Should, I go, should we go down there? Should I go down there and talk to front desk on live? You go by yourself. Huh? You go by yourself. Why go by myself? Because you scare me. You, I scare you? I don't get mad. I'm locked out of my room. I just want, I just want an explanation. Oh, hey, we got somebody. Does this happen? Does this happen often? Yeah, these locks are starting to kind of, with the age of them, yeah. starting to kind of go down. Wow. A bit at a time, they have to replace them on occasion, so. Wow, so it's really like a locksmith, like old school with the door, put down your window and you got to like finagle it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of one of these weird things. These handles don't really work for what I'm doing, but I can sometimes get it to work. Oh, are you trying to get the handle? Yeah. Oh, wow. My goodness. What a process. I'm ready to go back to old school keys. <laughs> I wish they would. <laughs> He has a thing going under the door, and he's trying to, he's trying to flick this lever. He has no way of getting in. He's trying to flick that door handle to open the door. Even he said, like, he wants to get rid of, like, they shouldn't have these. So we're not guaranteed to do that? Well, he's working on it. He's figuring it out. He'll get it. I wish they would get back the keys, I'm telling you. Make life easier. I mean, they have a key, but it doesn't work half the time. I wasn't sure if that worked just like the deadbolt part or. No, uh, it, it does something. <laughs> it does something. Yeah. It feels like I might actually have some luck here. 
it's really just a blank thing. No, it's a key that, like, it looks like it works, but like you said, it only... But that's our problem with digital. It's just everything's yeah computerized yeah, now. And that's, that's the way it is, you know, and it's really frustrating because... Especially Bing Card, they, they created this little system and then they've really... They've got their own unique keyway that's just... Oh, the man. It's just kind of... The hero. Okay. Look at that fishing pole. Yeah. Like I said, I, I was trying to reach <laughs> under the door and then it comes down and it's supposed to pull the handle, but it didn't. Right. Um, are they going to keep you on 214 for now? We're checking out today. We oh. we got a wedding to do and stuff, and all our camera gear was in here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, appreciate it though. Let me go get my daughter. Are you kidding me? So you you heard it straight from the locksmith. This happens all the time, and they should not be using these locks. I am so glad I started filming this because I'm saving this. Hilton. Hilton, we gotta talk. All right, that's it, we gotta go get ready. Appreciate y'all. Right, okay, so maybe maybe we're crazy. Maybe, I don't know. That just seems insane to me that they can't open up their own hotel room doors and they have to call a locksmith. Like I said, what if you had a kid in there, an older person felt like, just blows my mind. And I like, I, we, we're very true to like where we go. Like, we try to only fly Delta. I, I am very happy with Delta and their service. Hilton, I'm very happy with their hotels, their stays, everything they offer. So we always try to stay there. This has been our only run-in. And it's not its not something that's bad on customer service end or something. We had a great stay at the hotel and all that. But just coming from a safety factor, Hilton, what's going on with that? Like, that's all I want to know. What is going on with that? They did, uh, they did comp the room which was just because we hung around for two hours and we were almost late for the wedding, but all ended well. We made it to the wedding. The wedding was fantastic. It all worked out, but uh, just from a safety thing, that was, that was kind of a big deal. That's why I went live. Just want, like, I don't know, just wanted feedback. See what everybody else thought about that one. Maybe, maybe I'm on my own and just am crazy, which I've been told, and that's not a problem. But that is it. That is it from East Tennessee. Just an update on that because I had so many people asking for it. I um, hope you all appreciate the videos. I appreciate all of y'all. I hope this weather gets a little bit warmer because I'm not happy with this cold. That's it.